What's going on guys, Taylor Jacobs here, back with another Oblivion tutorial. This week we'll be covering an interesting topic, lockpicking. The lockpicking minigame is found by many to be difficult and confusing, but today I'm going to help you understand the fundamental and advanced principles so you're never hindered by locks again. Roll the intro. Before we get into the video, go down to the comment section and let me know what you think of the new logo and intro for this channel. Now, lockpicking minigame. It's pretty simple, but it can be confusing when you first see it. When you first start the minigame, you'll see a lock in profile with a pick underneath a set of five tumblers. There are three positions a tumbler can be in. The up position, the down position, and in motion. The tumblers will start in the down position, and your goal is to lock the tumblers into the up position. Depending on the lock level, some tumblers may already be locked into the up position. You can move the lockpick by moving your mouse or thumbstick horizontally towards the desired position, and the tip of the lockpick determines which tumbler we are working on. To begin picking the lock, position the lockpick below any of the tumblers in the down position. It makes no difference which order you complete each tumbler. Push vertically with the mouse or thumbstick to put the tumbler in motion. There are multiple different speeds the tumbler can go while in motion, but these are sorted into two general categories, very fast and then noticeably slower, about the speed the lockpick moves. You want to lock the tumbler in place when it is rising slowly. How often it goes fast or slow is dependent on your character's security skill. As your security skill increases, tumblers move less rapidly, giving you more time to fix the tumbler in place. The tumblers will develop a pattern for rising and falling. If you notice this pattern, then you can use it to know when to lock the tumbler into place. It's important to note that you can push the tumbler as many times as you want, but it won't be affected unless you click with the mouse or press the action button on your controller. If the in motion tumbler rises quickly, then just let it fall. We want the tumbler to rise at a similar rate to the lockpick. When the tumbler rises slowly, Click the mouse or your controller's action button before the tumbler begins to fall to latch it into the up position. Once you notice the slower speed of the tumbler, you can click to attempt to lock it in place. Obviously, you don't want to click too soon when the tumbler is nowhere near the correct position because this will break the pick and also reset the lock. It's important to click as the tumbler is arriving in the correct position, not when it is in the correct position. Waiting until the last possible moment to click can be extremely difficult, as very few people have the necessary reaction time to lock the pick fast enough. Just watch the top of the tumbler and click before the tumbler reaches the top of the chamber. This makes it easy to lock the tumbler in place so you can move on to the next one. You can quickly lock each tumbler in place using that method. If you want to be more patient, then looking for the tumbler's fall pattern is a good way to gauge when to click. However, this pattern can sometimes be hard to recognise. I will cover another good way on how to gauge when to click later in the video. When you click too late, or when the in motion tumbler is going too fast, it will reset, and depending on your security skill, other already set tumblers may also reset into the down position. As long as you click the mouse while the tumbler is all the way up, and not a pixel lower, the tumbler will remain in the up position. Depending on the speed of the tumbler, you may have as little as a tenth of a second, or as much as a whole second to latch it in place. This is why it's a good idea to watch the top of the tumbler and click as it reaches the top of the chamber instead of clicking while it rests there. Now this is the basics of picking in oblivion. Sometimes it can be hard to tell the difference in speeds of the in motion tumbler. If you are unsure, just let the tumbler fall and try again. Lock picking in oblivion is all about patience and judgement. If you notice the speed too late, don't panic and try to click fast because if you miss, some of the other tumblers will be reset. If you want to practice lockpicking without breaking any of your lockpicks, or you don't want to worry about lockpicking ever again, then you can click the card in the top right for my tutorial on the skeleton key, an unbreakable lockpick. But now, we're going to cover the more advanced gauging technique for picking locks. The right timing is easy to achieve for some by using your ears rather than your eyes. When the tumbler reaches the top of its chamber, you will hear a distinct double click or tink. This audio cue is to let you know the tumbler is ready to be fixed. As soon as you hear that, press the button and the tumbler is locked into the up position. However, the tumblers make different sounds depending on their speed. If the two clicks are close together and slightly higher pitched, 
and the tumbler is moving too fast. In these clicks are usually so close together, they sound like one. If the tumbler is slow, you'll be able to clearly hear the two slightly lower pitched clicks. Then the tumbler is moving slow enough for you to be able to lock it into place. Distinguishing the difference between the sounds can help recognise the tumbler's speed allowing you to know the correct time to click. Using both techniques allows you to easily master the lockpicking minigame. Just use the method of watching the tumbler's speed and looking at the top of the tumbler to see when it's about to reach the top of the chamber, then using the audio cue to lock the tumbler into place. While this can be frustrating, the other side of the coin is that once you get good enough at lockpicking, it's possible to pick any lock in the game except those that require a key, even with a low skill character. Keep your cool, take your time and practice. I'm going to take us in game and do a live commentary of me picking a lock so you can see how all this works. Alright guys, so we're just chilling in the Imperial City sewers now. It's just a brand new character I, I've just made. I just loaded up my save before the exit and set up this character. So I just picked some random stats just make, to make sure his security skill is nice and low. So it's just a 6. Um, so all I'm going to do is we're just going to take us straight to the Imperial City Arena because there's a very hard lock right there um, with that 500 gold in. So I'm going to take us there and we're going to attempt to pick that lock. Alright guys, so we're just here outside the Imperial City Arena and we're just going to pick the very hard lock box right outside. I'm just going to quick save now so that we can revert to it once we've picked the lock. So for the first method, it was just watching the top of the tumbler and clicking as it reaches the top of the chamber. This is simple and easy to do. Just watch it and click as it gets there. Sometimes though, the tumbler will move really fast like it did right there. Sometimes, the, the, in, when that's the case, the tumbler is moving so fast that no matter how fast you click, unless it's instantaneously, uh, so if you're watching the pattern, you're not going to lock it. So you want to let that fall. You want to watch it so that when it rises slowly, you click. So as soon as you notice that the pick is rising slowly, right, prepare yourself to click when the top of the tumbler reaches the top of the chamber. Okay, so we'll see if we can do it here. Just like that. Nice and simple. Now there's no need to do it straight away. Feel free, like I did just there, to hit the pick a few times. Uh, hit the tumbler a few times. Um, so you kind of get the, into the rhythm, right? So the next method was using an audio cue. Now this is super simple. You're going to listen to the audio and you're going to hear the distinct two clicks. Now there's going to be the first kind of lower pitch click and then half a second later a second higher pitched click. That's when the tumbler is moving at the right speed and you're going to be able to lock it in. You want to click as soon as you hear that second um, like tink, tink, right? That second click, that second tink is when you want to click. Now to use both methods, you're going to watch the tumbler just like you were before. When you see it rising slowly, prepare yourself to click right as it reaches the top of the chamber and then when it does, as soon as you hear that tink, that second high pitched tink is when you click. So we'll see if we can do that here as well. Just like that. Now I hit the pick quite a few times there because I'm I'm more I usually look for the pattern or just do it as it rises to the top. Um, it's not something I do all the time. It's it's hard, it's much harder to do and showcase uh, than it is to actually do it. So I'm just going to reload the the lock here, and I'm just going to pick it all. Uh, right through in one go. And just like that. So now we've picked the lock and we get the 500 gold. If you now understand how to pick locks and this video has helped you, please like the video. It lets me know that my tutorials are well received and useful to the Oblivion community. If you want to see more Oblivion or Bethesda content, subscribe to my channel. I post new guides and tutorials as fast as I can. I'm glad I was able to share this video with you all today. Bless Paku.